Now then, didn't I have another fire sword somewhere around here? I swear I had a fire sword. That's weird. Did I not pick that up? Well, okay. I could have sworn I picked up that fire sword. Maybe I put it somewhere else. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't care. I should be uh, equipped to the teeth right now for what I need to do. All right. We are back in cube land with a whole bunch of monsters and a homicidal cube trying to eat our faces or crush our faces. You know, whichever one comes first. We'll go ahead and save the game just because, you know, it's uh, it's an auto-kill if I accidentally step the wrong way. Which is not my idea of something good. You know? No one can help you anymore! Well, you know what? I don't need help. I am going to help myself to this gear. What do you think you're doing, mortal? I don't know, maybe I'm working on taking you apart, piece by piece. I mean, I, I heard something about how taking you apart piece by piece might be a, uh, a wise decision. Well, I can't take anything out of you there. Well, I'll just have to wait then. Luckily, this is basically an infinite weapon, so it's quite uh, simple to uh, continue freezing this guy until you get what you want. Okay, that is not what I want to do. He was just getting in my way. Oh boy. A lot of you are getting in my way. Now I'm stuck. Alright. I'm going to jump down here. And I'm going to kill myself. I know that that was going to happen. I am going to... Uh, I'm gonna head back to the nice little crystal here. We'll be back in just a second. I gotta get this guy back up and going. I had to get out of there before that situation got bad. Yeah, you know, I came back here and, uh, hey look, I left the fire blade on the ground. I don't know what the hell I was thinking to, uh, to leave this fire blade on the ground. No idea whatsoever. Anyways, I am going to go ahead and stash that back there. I don't know why I left that fire blade. I could have sworn I picked that thing up, but for whatever reason, I guess I decided to leave it there. Which was silly on my part. Because that fire blade is really going to come in handy. It truly is. You know what? I should uh, probably pop that frost bomb over there. For whatever reason, um... Frost does not work against robotic creatures. I guess, you know, it's like a, a thing with cold steel, you know? That, that could explain why it doesn't work. But, you know, it's kind of annoying that it doesn't work. Because it would, it would truly help. You know, you could come down here and you have, like me, a poison mage. Or you have... Um, I don't know, a frost mage, something like that, and now you just are incapable of harming this cube with your mage, which is a pain in the ass. I'll take that. I barely even felt that. Prepare to die. Sure, whatever, buddy. You just keep saying that to yourself. Also, if you really need to, I highly recommend falling down these uh, pits whenever necessary because the pits can really save your life. I mean, that, that sounds silly because it does hurt to go down in pits, but um, if you fall down a pit, you can actually manage to get out of some really bad situations, which is quite nice. Let's watch this guy get crushed. <laughs> oh, that amuses me. Alright, let's take that out. Ah! I still have enough power to crush you! Yes, yes you do. That is why I am not going to stand still for you. I will stand still so you kill him, though. Because that is quite fine with me. 
Alright. Um, I already took that out. Can't remember what I need to take out left. I took out the ore. Um, I took out this piece. I think I need the bladed gear still. Now you die! How about no? Let's, uh... Let's not die. I don't... I don't want to do that today. Where the hell is that gear? Oh, here we go. I feel... Pain? You've gone too far! I will kill you now! Will you? Well... My mind is going. Is it? Well, that sounds good to me. Oh boy. I do not like having shrock doors around me. Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. I got trapped there. And that is what can happen during this battle. I'll be right back when I yank all his parts out and we'll continue from there. Alright, so I pulled out his last piece. Um, I jumped down a hole so it would be easy to start up. And I got everyone fed, so we are all good to go. Let's get up here and uh, say hello to this guy. Yeah, you can't stop him whatsoever any longer. He's just pissy now. Really, really pissy. I wish I had a lightning mage right now. Because I could kill him very easily. Stop it! Um, I'll stop it for a second or two. And then I'll do it. You only made me more angry. What are you, Bruce Banner? Oh boy. This is not looking like a good situation. Ooh, a key. So, every once in a while, um, you'll get keys from, uh, various things that die along the way. And, speaking of dying, I have lost one of my guys. I'm just gonna jump down this pit right now. Because that is the best course of action. But anyway, you'll get keys from, uh, random things that die, and that allows you to open the rooms up there to grab various supplies and so forth, so... It's a nice way to resupply, but uh, yeah, we'll be back in just a second after I get this guy healed up. Okay, so everyone is healed up again, and I've still got that key. I'm gonna try and go for one of the rooms to uh, to show you what's in those rooms for the hell of it, you know? That was kind of a risky move on my part, but you know, whatever. Alright, we'll go ahead and open this one since I'm right here. And we'll move away from this guy and let him get crunched while trying not to get crunched ourselves. I'm taking some serious risks here for whatever reason. I don't know why. Stop struggling! Uh, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep doing that. So we have a lightning rod here. Nice. Also, my, uh, my current torch is a little bit screwed up, so I'll go ahead and use this instead. This lightning rod could be indeed quite helpful. I'm going to go ahead and go down here to heal up real quick, because also I would like to uh, switch out this torch. Let that go up there somewhere. I have no idea where that torch just got thrown to. But this lightning rod should help out uh, a good bit, since I uh, I should now have the capability to um, to attack him with lightning, which he's he is most certainly weak to lightning, so that is great to have around. Also, you can sometimes get them to attack each other if you're lucky. All right, I need. Here, let's let you get smashed. Hi, have one of those. You only made me more angry. And we keep doing it evermore. Getting all pissed off. 
No! This can't be happening! Ah! Aww. He fell apart. Hey. I was enjoying my triumph here. Stop shooting at me. Yeah. Whoa. Well, I guess it wasn't the cube causing the earthquake. Looks like we may have destroyed Mount Grimrock. Burning cube. I don't remember him burning that much, but uh, you know, that's cool with me. That looks quite explosive. Oh! Left a crater there. I can't tell if we made it out or not. Anyway, that was uh, Let's Play Legend of Grimrock. I uh, may tack some stuff on to the end of this. Some little extra things. Um, I don't know how much extra I'm going to get around to doing, but there is at least something I want to do that's going to be extra. That's a scary looking gear. So anyway, I will, uh, I'll see you after the credits. We're going to at least do one thing extra. I might do more. I'm not sure yet. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this Let's Play. Also something amusing that I'm noticing here, all those names we saw in the, uh, the designer's room is just the uh, actual designer's names backwards. <laughs> they make very good uh, alien names backwards. I like that. <laughs>